Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with another retouch video. And as you can see, this image on the screen is what I'll be retouching today. So let's go over the settings real quick. So I was using the Panasonic S1 camera for this photo shoot. As you can see here, it says make Panasonic. Uh, the lens I was using is a 24 to 70 millimeter f2.8 lens. I was shooting at f5.6. It's always good to go higher than that. So everything can be in focus. My ISO was 125, um, well, 225, and my exposure was 120, 160th of a second. All right. So the image is a little bit underexposed. So what I'm going to do now is to, um, well, not a little bit. It's, it's underexposed. I'm just going to create a duplicate. I'm going to go to camera raw, and then I'm going to brighten the image. I'm just going to go auto. All right, I think I want to use the exposure a little bit, maybe about right there. Should be good. Perfect. I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to zoom the image up and I'm going to remove the blemishes from the model skin. So I'm just going to use the patch tool. You can press J on the keyboard for the patch tool. Or you can use any uh, tool you wish to use. If you want to use the healing brush or if you want to use the clone stamp, anything that works for you, use that. So just gonna remove all the blemishes from the skin I want my images to look as natural as possible so I am try I'm gonna try my best what I need to learn to be honest with you guys what I really need to learn and I keep saying this in most of my videos that I need to learn how to do micro dodge and burning because trust me I think my images would look way different if I actually do that process i'll follow that process but one day i will take the time out to practice and hopefully master that editing editing techniques but for right now i have a lot of work doing so i really don't have the time to practice micro dodge and burning but trust me i'm gonna find the time all right so that looks good what i'm going to do now is to work on the model skin so i'm going to come over here to the frequency separation action you can find this action by using the link in the description it's absolutely free all the actions over here absolutely free all right so i'm going to use uh 6.3 i'm going to keep it at 6.3 for the radius then i'm going to zoom up i'm going to press m on the keyboard for the mixer brush i that's the shortcut for my mixer brush. You can just hold on on home, sorry, hold on on brush and you will see the option for the mixer brush. So I took mine out. The settings for the mixer brush, wet is 30, load is 75, 90 for mix, 100 for flow. And yeah, and just ensure that you click on this so it clears everything. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna just brush the face. I want to keep it as natural as possible. So I'm just gonna take my time and do it. All right, so. You just want to even out everything basically. And what I love about the mixer brush, it blends the skin. So if you have a dark area and a light area, you can blend them together. That's what I love about retouching and using the mixer brush. All right, let's see the before and after for what I've done so far. So before, after. I'm gonna come down to the model's neck, but I want to do it on a different um, layer, a different uh, frequency separation um, layer. So I'm just gonna close this and then I'm going to merge it. Um, I'm gonna turn it in a smart, a smart, um, object this may take a little while all right it's taking too long i'm not going to do that i'm just going to merge it 
and then uh let me see where is the merge where is the merge merge group all right then i'm gonna create a new one because you don't want to do it on the same you don't want to create a new frequency separation while an another one is there because it creates havoc to be honest with you i'm gonna go down to the low layer here i'm gonna press m on the keyboard for the mixer brush again and then i'm just gonna do the arm Just gonna take my time and do this. That looks good. Alright, good. So, even though I said I want to do it on a separate layer, let me just still work on that little part right there. <laughs> Alright, good. So, let's look at the before and after for that portion. So, before, after. See the big difference? This mixer brush is powerful, trust me. I'm going to come down here to the arm. Do the same thing. Just blend it out. All right, that looks good. All right, perfect. So now I'm gonna create a new layer from everything. All right. I use Shift, Alt, Shift, Option, Command, E to create a new layer. Um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another one. As a matter of fact, no. Gonna keep it i'm just gonna do one all right so what i want to do now is to match her face with her skin down here you realize that here the face looks different from the skin what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a new layer i'm gonna change this to color all right and then i'm gonna press i for the color picker and i'm gonna pick this color right here and then i'm gonna press b on the keyboard for the brush ensure that my flow is at one percent and what i'm gonna do now is to just Paint the face. So basically trying to match the skin. So if you take a look, see, that's the before and that's the after. So it looks closer to it now. All right, I think I'm good with that now. Um, what else do I need to do? I still need to blend the face out a little bit. Uh, hmm. What am I gonna do this now? I, all right, under here is a little bit dark. I'm gonna use the dodge right here. And then I'm gonna just brighten some of these areas. before and after all right let me just scroll up a little bit more I'm gonna do under here looks good still have a little darkness under the neck right here it's gonna brighten it a little bit we want to ensure that everything is smooth running smooth coming through by the way I love her skin all right good so I think I like that so far let's look at the before and after for everything that's the before that's the after all right so what i'm gonna do now let me just zoom up a little bit here still feel like i can work on some of these blemishes here small ones No. 
All right. Good. These little adjustments, you know, do a lot for an image, trust me. It's best for you to zoom in at times and make some adjustments. When you zoom out, then you'll see where it makes a big difference, trust me. Alright, good. I don't think there's anything else I think I need to do. Maybe right here, I think I want to brighten it a little bit. Let me get another dodge layer. Put this at the top. Not sure why it went down, down to the bottom. Good. Still at 1% for the flow. I'm just going to paint right there. Right there. Yeah, I think I like this now. All these little areas that are a little bit too dark, we can just burn them a little bit. Which is why I want to learn how to do micro dodge and burning so I can fix these little things. Even though it takes longer to edit, I really, I'm, I'm really going to take the time out to learn it, trust me. Right. All right, good. Um, I'm gonna try something. Let me just create another layer. Um, get a color from here. Bring up my opposite to about 19. Let me paint right here and see what happens. Okay, nice. So this works good. Let's look at a before and after for that. Before, after. Yeah, I kind of like this a little bit better. All right, maybe I could do this right here as well. No, just gonna do it right here. No, I think I have to sample and create a new. I'm gonna sample. Press I to sample. I want to blend out here a little bit more. So maybe I want to get it from this and just blend it out. Lower the opacity. right there should be good perfect i'm gonna get i'm gonna do a lighter one now so new layer again press i to sample i'm just gonna lighten up here a little bit i think i need to lower the opacity for the flow I'm gonna put it at about one just burn it here let me zoom it up and see what it looks like gonna lower the opacity to about right there good all right I love this I'm going to work on her teeth so I'm gonna go to clean eyes and teeth and click on the brush again and I'm gonna go to 23% and just paint the teeth and I'm done all right so i'm just going to do some color grading now so i'm going to create a new layer by doing shift option command e con um command j and then i'm going to go to camera raw again press auto okay um i'm not going to do auto but i'm just going to come here to the exposure bring it up a little bit Shadows a little bit. Dehaze. Nah, no dehaze. Zero. Um, white. Bring down the white a little bit. And then I'm going to go to collaboration. Go to the primary colors and pump up some color in the skin. And I think that is it for the image. What I'm going to do, I'm going to crop this image for Instagram now. So um, let me close this one. What I'm gonna do now is to create a new, let me just create a new layer here. Duplicate. What I'm gonna do now is to create a mask. 
not a mask i'm gonna do a what they call this again a crop um ensure that it's four to five for the ratio i'm just gonna crop this then i'm going to use this one actually this is the one i should have cropped this is the one let me just crop it like this wait bring this up what i'm trying to do is to crop it for instagram but i don't want to crop off the hand so i just going to try to fit it in this one here so bring this down like that and like that and then it's this a little bit more like that good and then what i'm going to do now is to stretch the sides so i'm going to click uh, click on this marquee tool come right here Control t hold on and shift and then stretch all right and then i'm going to do the same thing on this side Control t or command t and then hold on and shift and then stretch and i'm done i am done let me deselect this no how do i deselect okay good what i could do i could just pull the image up a little bit more like that and that's it that is it for the image um i could put a highlight in the background or something like that but nah i'm not gonna do anything else <laughs> to the image so that's it for the image guys thank you so much for watching and you can always go to filter not filter um file and then export and then um, save for web and then you change this the width to 1080 automatically it's going to give you the height and then you just save it for instagram i'm going to put my logo on it first though before i do it so that and i have a shortcut for it as well so right there Good. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.